<laughs> okay, so I remember way the heck back in seventh or eighth grade listening to bands like the Sex Pistols, the Ramones, Nirvana, and hearing those old fashioned punk sounds, it just got really got me hooked, like Kurt Cobain on Coke. And <laughs> Eventually, as my music taste developed, I got into more modern punk. I listened to bands like Against Me, Pop, Rancid, all these great more modern punk. And when I first heard that punk, it really just it blew my mind. Like I was an unarmed black man, and the music was the police. <laughs> so the record that I brought in today is this band Refused. And it's called Freedom. As you can see, it's completely clear, which is, I don't know how many of you have actually seen a record for real, but most records are not like that. So this is the collective edition of this album. And uh, Refuse is a Swedish punk rock group. They swing more towards the hardcore side. And they're, it's loud, screaming vocals, kind of heavy, fast guitars. And they really started back in the 90s with the album The Shape of Punk to Come, which the album title really fits what they did because no one had really done this sort of thing. There had always been like the metal side of rock and then there had been the more classic punk side like the Ramones. And in the 90s, I think, around that time was really when it split off into two different branches. You have the more classic punk, like the Against Me is a good example, Rancid another one. And then you sort of split off into this other branch of, we call it post-hardcore now. Like Devil Wears Prada, Pierce the Veil, our two bands, uh, Soil Work, that sort of split off into this more hardcore group. And I know when you look at me, you probably don't say, oh, Tom listens to just some head banging, like face melting music. <laughs> but uh, that's my favorite type of music. Punk has really become my favorite. First of all, it covers a huge range of topics, more than just a, you got your, you got, of country, you got your, you got your trucks, you got your beer, you got your jeans. <laughs> And you got your girls. And I mean, country music, it sounds like a gorilla found a rubber band and just started sucking on his foot and started twinging away on it. I mean, think about a bunch of knuckle draggers. The people, they can't, you can't tell who's doing a squirrel and a rabbit on the road. I mean, I'm guessing it's because you need a telescope to see the road from the lifted cab of their trucks, but that's just me. Uh, I mean, country music, not only does it sound like a bunch of rocks banging together, but it has the same effect on my head as rocks just nailing it. <laughs> I think I'm losing brain cells when I listen to this stuff. Uh, but the only stuff I'm going to be losing when I listen to punk is my hearing, because it's just turned up way too loud. Uh, punk, even the thing I love about punk is it's unique to every single band. Every single band has their own sound. Even if an era is sort of defined as a different type of sound, everything is unique. And that's what I really love about punk is everything has a message. And you can listen to each band and say, oh, that's refused. Oh, that's against me. And you can tell the different styles. You can tell the different styles of each band. And punk is really great because punk has a message a lot of times behind it. It's not just, well, my truck broke down. My jeans have a hole in them. My girl left me. But at least you got my beer. I mean, you can interchange those four things and you've got all of country music, hands down. Uh, but punk music, it really covers a wide range of things. And refuse, uh, they actually don't really have much message, but against me, uh, they, they'll cover everything from the lead singer is trans, so she covers the most recent album, it's called Transgender Dysphoria, and it's all about her transition. She's covered stuff from abortion to religion, I'm sure a lot more of you know Rise Against is a probably a more popular band that you guys know. And they'll, they were huge against the Iraqi war and the Bush war and all that stuff. And it was really great to be able to listen to this stuff with opinions that you agree with. Even if you don't agree with them, the music, you're able to just connect with it. And, and punk, it's a different type of music. It really is. The, the hardcore stuff, even if it's not hardcore, really helps you, you probably think, oh, that makes you angry. No, it really calms you down. And that's what I love the most about punk is some music that sounds so violent and so aggressive really isn't. <laughs>